7th General Chapter Witnesses to the Radical Approach of the Gospel in the Gospel of Joy. The good person, says the first biblical psalm, will be like a tree planted by streams of water that will give its fruit in due season and its leaf does not wither. In all that he does, he prospers. There is a wood in the congregation's coat of arms. In front of Don Bosco's rooms, there is a vine. He himself had planted a vine in front of his room. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever remains in me and I in him will bear much fruit. Without me, you can do nothing. There is something profoundly symbolic about a tree, beginning with the roots. The roots nourish the tree and make it solid. A tree draws life from the earth. We were all brought by God's hand from the earth. We commenced our journey in the Silesian Holy Land at Valdoco a location for the gospel and daily miracles. We went there as people who are tracing a river back to its source. Our thirst was quenched and the fresh water of our origins gave us refreshment. The Silesian's roots are based solidly in the earth, which is Don Bosco, Jesus. We have a desire, both personally and as a community, to give God primacy in our life. Encouraged by Silesian holiness and the thirst young people have for authenticity. This was Don Bosco's great certainty and passion and meant he was totally involved in God's plot and abandoning himself to him, he went to the point of temerity. God is the freely flowing river. That is where our roots are, giving us the vital sap which nurtures us and helps us to grow daily. Prayer, Eucharist, Bible, sacraments. Only this way can the tree grow and be humble, strong and energetic, defending itself from parasites, resist storms, Purity, simplicity, self-control are its qualities. Work and temperance will make the congregation flourish. Temperance, then, is a sense of balance, being content, being simple. May the poverty of Don Bosco and Mama Margaret inspire every Silesian and each of your communities to an essential and austere life close to the poor, transparent and responsible in the management of goods. Thus, the roots of a strong tree take hold in more compact earth. They divide and grow even where it seems impossible. We must place ourselves at the frontiers, at the peripheries of the world, in the existential deserts where there are many like sheep without a shepherd and have nothing to eat. We must change the desert into good ground that nourishes. We want to live as men who are marked by a strong experience of God with their feet on the ground, able to give reason for the hope we bear in our hearts so the branches can develop and extend. 
and protect. Being friends, brothers and fathers, educators who only want young people to be active players and masters of their own lives. And from this point of view, it is only possible to be servant and never master. But on one condition, the branch that remains in me will bear much fruit. Jesus' sap must flow freely. Going out to marginalized young people requires courage, maturity and much prayer. And you must send the best out to this work, the best. This way the tree can bear fruit, which the sun will mature, and they will give good seeds. Apostolic vocations are ordinarily the result of good youth ministry. And be renewed because trees are renewed every springtime. Young people are our springtime. The young are our burning bush through whom God speaks to us. This strong experience of God allows us to respond to the cry of the young. But the tree on its own cannot defend itself. It is the forest which resists the storms. We are the successors of Don Bosco. We are the wood, Bosco. Living the spirituality of communion is what the church asks of us today, integrating community life and service in the work with a renewed sense of belonging. To build up the community, we need to shift from life in common to communion of life. A loving mother watches over the wood which came into being at Valdorco. Thus these trees which became a forest covering the world will continue their work, keeping heaven and earth attached, despite everything. And for now, they are winning.